right, everybody. Welcome back to the Empty Nest channel. We got some exciting news today. We just signed up for TSA PreCheck. So we're going to show you from start to finish um, how easy or how complicated, depending on what happens next, um, it is for the TSA PreCheck. So uh, the TSA PreCheck is a program that started in 2013 by the U.S. Um, Transportation Service or Authority and it was to allow people who are frequent flyers to get through security at airports faster and i believe there are over 300 um, tsa pre-checks now at airports it's not at every airport but at all of the major airports they have them how much does it cost so it's 85 dollars. so who you want to tell them who wait, told us wait, it's 85 dollars for how long oh 85 dollars and that lasts for five years five. So in having the TSA pre-check, it's supposed to be less than 10 minutes to get all the way through security. And Andy likes it because you're not supposed to have to... Yeah, I don't have to take off my shoes or unload all my camera equipment or my computers or anything like that. You just kind of go right through. So so you, you go online to TSA and you sign up for an appointment. And our neighbor Dale told us that, hey, you don't have to go to the airport because we always thought we had to go to the airport to get it done. And he said, no, there's a place right over in the little town next door that will do it. So we signed up and um, had our appointment time. We showed up and what happened? <laughs> you want to tell everybody what happened? Yeah, Where show we up. It's a chiropractic office that we went to. We were really kind of yeah. shocked. It was at a chiropractor's office, and the lady took us into another room and mm -hmm. asked us, you know, did a little interview. Why do you want the TSA pre-check? And mm -hmm. Andy yeah. said... If we needed our back checked out or anything like that while we're there. So... <laughs> they did not. Yeah, two for one. <laughs> they did not. But, you know, we, we explained that we've been flying a lot and that we really like to get through security faster and not spend as much time at the airport. Yeah. We had to get our fingerprints done they did our fingerprints yeah, mine for the second time because i had a thing that happened last year but he, we won't talk about that he did not he did, he, he's such a joke <laughs> don't worry they dropped the case <laughs> what? stop it stop it so so anyway then they ran a background check on us and a few days after that paid her off a little bit for that one too stop it mm -hmm. no he did not stop it andy so a few days later, this is supposed to be an informative video. This is very formative. It shows people how to do it. No, it just shows them what a goofball you are. Mm, anyway. So, so then a few days later, we get our non-traveler number. And we have not used it yet, but we are getting ready to. We just wanted to tell you guys what the procedure was leading up to this point. So we, ha we now have our non-traveler numbers. And what we're being told is that... Even though we have that number, we have to go into every airline that we fly and put that known traveler number in in order to get through the TSA pre-check. So our next flight is actually on Southwest. Um, we, we Where are we leave, going? We leave on Friday. Hmm? My birthday. For Andy's birthday. My birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, Andy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Andy. Happy birthday. So we are actually going to New York City to see Back to the Future on Broadway. Yes gonna be exciting because Andy loves back to the future yep. so we put our our known traveler number into the Southwest app and we're gonna show you how easy or how hard we have to get through TSA on Friday yep we're gonna do it yeah stay tuned because you'll see it all all right here we are at the airport ready to go to New York for my birthday and this is our first trip with the TSA pre-check now, what we were told is that when we got our boarded pa boarding passes, we needed to make sure that it actually said TSA pre-check on our boarding passes. And so far, so good. Yeah, so far, so good. So we're going to check it out, get through TSA, and uh, get to our gate and have a great trip. Yeah, here we go. Let's right. see Let's see how easy this is. All and right. if we encounter any problems, we'll let you know. All right, let's go. All right, we just got through TSA. What that takes? A that couple minutes? That was so easy. Couple minutes. I didn't have to take anything out of my camera bag. I had cameras. I think I had four cameras, a computer, all kinds of cables, batteries. Didn't have to take the anything out. The only thing out. we had to do was take off our winter coats. Yeah. That was it. It yeah. makes sure our pockets were empty. Yeah, pretty easy. There we go, Starbucks.
All right, Mary wanted to point out that the Starbucks line is longer than the TSA line. Yeah, and the wait time to get your Starbucks is longer than the wait time to get through the TSA pre-check. <laughs> So we just came back through the TSA pre-check at LaGuardia Airport in New York City. Absolutely beautiful airport. It um, is a pretty airport. Really, really, really pretty airport. So yeah. great looking airport. Yeah. Beautiful. So we just wanted to touch on the TSA pre-check because this is the first time we've used it. Um, it was $85 and that lasts for five years. And in my opinion, it is worth every penny. Yeah, yeah, we got through really quick. I think we were the only ones in line actually. Um, everything went really smooth. They were really nice. I did, when I went through though, I did beep three times. I had to keep going through, back through because I got so many pockets. I kept forgetting to take stuff out of my pockets, but uh, they were nice about it. And uh, yeah, everything went, everything went good. The TSA agent was nice mm -hmm. when we came through. So um, the one thing I did notice is that instead of having to show your passport when you come through, all you have to do is show them your driver's license give them your driver's license. Um, I don't know what they do with it. They do something on their end and then you come through. I guess they already know you're flying so you don't have to show your boarding pass. But it's very simple and very easy. And so I, I carry a lot of electronics with me and normally I'd have to open up my bag, maybe take all of them out. Didn't have to do any of that. All of his film yeah. equipment he, he yeah. travels with. Yeah, didn't have to take off my shoes, didn't have to take out all my film equipment, so. I really like it, well worth it. So if you're thinking about getting a TSA pre-check, $85, five years, can't beat it. And it was so easy to apply for. Mm -hmm. um, the one thing is just make sure that your boarding pass says TSA pre-check before you get to the airport. Yeah, because you do have to check on that. So when you, um, when you book your flights and things, it's gonna ask you for a certain number. Make sure you put that number in. And also make sure when you get your boarding uh, passes that it does say TSA pre-check. If it doesn't, you can still go back and fix it. You're not too late at that point. And you do have to put that TSA number, um, that known traveler number into every one, every airline you fly. Mm -hmm. So like if you fly Southwest and United and American, you will have to go in and put it in for every airline. Yeah, just make sure you put it in. It was pretty easy. Once you get your boarding pass, your electronic one anyway, you can see where it does have the little check mark and TSA pre-check. So look for that. Yes. So guys, we're gonna wrap up our TSA pre-check video. That's it for now. All right, keep traveling everyone, have fun.